what's going on guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm gonna be breaking down some madden 22 content and news that we just got today so guys what i got for you today the news of madden 22 content is basically uh just a bit of info on the new stadium abilities and some of the momentum things next gen stats for the new madden 22 game i know that was a focal point of the madden 22 release is like the momentum and you know trying to integrate that real nfl uh, type of vibe into the game of Madden itself and I feel like they've done a really good job um, I'm gonna break down what the stadium thing is in a second So if you haven't heard these stadium abilities, uh, I could find a proper definition later when I scroll through the article and all that But in my best words, it's basically um, every NFL team will have one. It's gonna be uh, Let's just say the Raiders Slogan or kind of just you know catchphrase is just win baby um, and their a team ability is, you know, if you're doing these, uh, I guess you could call them objectives, you know, like forcing a fumble, getting a hit stick, getting a user pick, getting a touchdown, you will get that momentum boost on your side. And once you get that um, and you're at home, if you are the home team, let's just say you're Raiders, you will get an extra momentum boost. And that will basically be the Raiders is, for example, is you will get better fatigue on your stamina compared to the away team. So you, uh, you won't get tired at all. Let's just say you have Henry Ruggs out there. Uh, you throw him a drag across the middle. He's not going to get tired at all, really. And, you know, you could break it up field, 98 speed, obviously, and he might be out of there comparison to, you know, uh, the normal fatigue setting for the defenders. So, you know, there's 32 of these. We're going to have to break down each and every one of them. Um, it's not going to be a long video. I'm going to kind of skim through them really quickly, and I will leave the link below so you can do your studying, see what team you want to cheese your opponent with um, stadium-wise. So, um, obviously, you don't have to use this team. That's the craziest part. If you're playing regs, you want to get that glitchy stadium boost. I know everyone is going to do it. Uh, people will find the best one. Uh, we'll break down the best ones. I'll break down, in my opinion, the best ones in this video. Uh, but let's just say, you know, we use the Packers again next year. We could go from Packers and then put in like Mile High Stadium. Mile High Stadium has a fatigue for your uh, wide receivers, I believe, or just in general fatigue for the offense or defense or the way team in general. Because, you know, Denver practices in Mile High, they're used to the fatigue, the Mile High setting away teams they're not going to be used to it so that's kind of a nice thing to add it in to madden and i'll obviously have my second thoughts and all that type of stuff like it shouldn't be in comp this that, and a third so let's just get in the video i've done a lot of rambling so i this link right here i will post it in the bio below description whatever you want to call it uh, madden 22 biggest gameplay additions come in the form of home field advantage that's the word i should have been saying the phrase Part of the game's dynamic game day elements, each team in Madden 22 will have their distinct advantage over the visiting opponent. It's pretty nice. And I guess Xerxes posted a video on this already. Check it out if you want. Shout out to Xerxes, man. But here we go. Atlanta Cardinals. Rise up, Red Sea. Great phrase. I love the phrase. Cardinals game momentum quicker. So, um, you know, whatever their momentum is, as in like, uh, you know, you'll have a I don't even know the base momentum. Some of it's just super generic. I'll get back to you guys. I'll leave it in a comment. It's super generic, like better sheds, I think, better blocking. Just some generic stuff like that. Um, you just got momentum faster for the Cardinals. Falcons rise up. Same thing. Home team gains bonus momentum on offense. So I guess only Cardinals get this one compared to uh, if you play in the Falcon Stadium, which a lot of people have been playing in for years. The home team gains bonus momentum on offense so whatever your offense is you get momentum like i said it's like some generic stuff whether it be blocking or you know better catching uh, less fatigue it'll be some generic stuff some have specific some have generic once more i'll do some more research for you boys um try oh okay i got one already off my mind you get hot routes better one is like you get faster hot routes um one is like you bet run better routes some some stuff like that that's just the generic stuff like i said i'll do my research next trust a system while winning home team gets bonus momentum on running plays that's glitchy so if you're going to use a uh, ravens a quarterback run cheese like i know a lot of y'all will do please don't do it to me uh lamar is going to be crazy even get a 7-0 lead i suggest for you ravens users you get the ball you put on receive and if you even get three points um next time you get the ball on offense you'll be able to spam some run plays it might be really cheesy boys and i'm giving y'all schemes right off the bat you know madden 22 isn't even out just using my brain right now buffalo bills downwind away team kick meter moves erratically and that's going to be all the time that's pretty op in my opinion um i don't know how op will be but that's going to be like an every down thing 
it might be on the kickoffs as well so you know it's gonna affect and the punts it's gonna affect quite a bit obviously pat field goals punts and kickoffs carolina panthers keep pounding home team has more stamina during plays kind of like similar to the raiders one we all know uh, panthers offense is going to be pretty nice c mac those are great receivers and now addition of sam darnold so you know stamina during uh all plays pretty all right it's just a generic one chicago bears bear down away teams kickers meter moves faster on the downswing so when you go up it's cool on the way down it's going to kind of get you once more similar to the bills it's going to be effective almost everywhere you won't even realize how great this one is who they for the Bengals? no huddle results and reduced clock runoff interesting that's a really interesting one um so if you want to go no huddle if you want i love going no huddle you go in bangle stadium run no huddle and that's going to help you on those two minute drills that's going to help you if you want to run a speedy offense i don't know how the fatigue will be on that but that's really interesting kind of like that one cleveland browns dog pound hot routes in the red zone have a chance to fail wow so i know the browns have really good red zone defense and this is where it comes into um if you're in the red zone trying to pass which highly don't I highly advise because it's literally impossible no matter what stadium you're in uh your red zones might fail so like one example is someone put a streak one time and it turned into a curl route you don't want to be guessing man you never want to be guessing about it especially on offense that's a really nice one right there all right boys so we're one two three four five six seven eight nine nine already down uh cowboys is deflected away teams punt distance is shortening shortened if kicking across 50 yard line interesting so I don't even know what that means honestly across 50 yard line so if you're across a 50 yard line no one even punts this one is not that great boys um obviously there'll be some instances where you punt but that's not the best one at all by any means it's probably one of the lower ones no cowboys slander but honestly man uh denver broncos mile high one of the best ones boys circle this highlight this star this whatever you want away team has less stamina for plays wow that's just a big one offense defense you want to be in mile high stamina is so crucial it's such a crucial part of the game um so let's just say someone's fatigued every play they're going to be playing at a pace they don't want to play a lot of people play very fast pace they want to go go i want to get back on offense go next play next play next play me i could go either or so i don't think this will affect me too much it's going to be annoying it's going to be like a mental thing for a lot of players and yeah this is one of the best ones boys definitely uh would use this if i were y'all Detroit Lions, Motor City, home team accelerates slightly quicker. So, wow, that's the kind of speed factor. Wow, that's very underrated. Not necessarily speed and like, you know, at all. But if you have Tyreek, you want to excel in a game like Madden 22 where next gen movements kind of, you know, you feel slow. This is another great one, in my opinion. We're going to just have to test and see how effective it really is. Next, Green Bay Packers, Go Pack Go. I've actually played on this one. Momentum gains are increased for the home team. It's not bad. It's really nice. I noticed like, wow, I already got my momentum a couple times. I played a couple games on the beta and boom, boom, boom. That's how I felt. I like this one. I don't think it's up there with the best ones, but it's definitely an intermediate one for sure. Houston Texans, the bullpen. Away team gains less momentum for a touchdown. So if you score a touchdown, their momentum is gone, I guess. I don't know. I feel like that's how it already should have been. Not too sure about that one. I obviously could be reading it wrong, but yeah, I don't think I'll be using that uh indianapolis colts hat count home team defense sees hat count via coach camp so you guys can help me out i know hat hat count has something to do with like uh i don't even know it's definitely something pre-play but my football knowledge maybe is a little lacking on this comment down below what this means boys and don't roast me please because i could obviously do my research but you know i feel like it'll be better if you guys help me out a little bit so there's that i don't know if this is good or not boys i'm kind of a noob in this aspect i feel like it has something to do with like the number of players on the field but that wouldn't even make sense don't roast me jacksonville Ju jaguars duval bonus momentum on touchdowns just kind of generic one chiefs home of the chiefs away teams audibles have a chance of failing huge man i don't know how big of a chance this is what downs this occurs what uh quarter this occurs um, you know how much time this occurs so that's all in question gonna do my research and see but this is definitely a big one man any any time where you're affecting someone's like actual like 
whoa this isn't working or why is this not working rather than a momentum thing that's when you're you know gonna want to use those team stadiums because i know personally if something happens like that to me i'm gonna get a little frustrated it's gonna affect my mental and boom i'm gonna throw a pick because of it um just different players react to different things differently so uh me obviously i feel like i'm cool calm collected at times i could get a little rowdy I don't think it would affect me too much, but like I said, like someone like Joke, who definitely we know in the past, uh, who's definitely been kind of just, you know, we know Joke. He, he's a great player, but sometimes he, you know, gets a little frustrated. This might affect him a little bit, but enough with that. Las Vegas Raiders, just win, baby. Just win, baby. How do I mess up my own team slogan? Um, that's a new move right there. When winning, home team has increased momentum, gain fatigue, slash gain Momentum gain, sorry, I can't talk, slash fatigue recovery. This is kind of underrated. Obviously, it's two generic ones, recovery fatigue and increased momentum, but you could get both. I don't know if it's both or either or, but that's pretty nice if you could get both. That's definitely caught my eye. Shout out my Raiders once more. Chargers bolt up. Chargers gain bonus momentum for yardage gains. Wow. So, um, I don't know. Like, it's probably going to be minimal amount of bonus compared to a touchdown. But if you get, keep getting yards, if you're playing offense crazy. If you're an offensive player, this is definitely the one you want. Because, um, you know, first down after first down, you're getting dotted. You, then next thing you do, you look up and you see your bonuses are all gone. And your opponent has all the momentum. Might be a little demoralized. Next, Rams. Rams house home team has bonus on defensive stops. Defensive player, you're going to choose this one. Um, it's Like I said, it's one of the generic ones. It could have been better. Uh, but you know, we'll still get to those better ones. Dolphins has home team fatigue is slower, not bad. Another generic one, Viking skull. Um, it should have been skull. I don't know if it's skull, they spelled it wrong or whatever. Should be S K O L, but I don't know. Home team is slightly faster in the red zone. Interesting. So I did notice Cook and Jefferson and all them turned up in the red zone a lot. They had some crazy plays, so that's pretty nice, man. But like I said, red zone really doesn't matter 20 yards. You're gonna have to find something if you want to use that one. Our house for the Pats. Home team gains momentum on bonus, uh, bonus momentum on touchdowns slash third down stops. Another good one because they always get those third down stops. It feels like, and obviously if they score touchdowns, you'll get bon bonus momentum. But like I said, another generic one. Saints. Who that? Here's a great one. So I noticed like the who that's the who days the the Broncos mile high like those actual known stadiums Packers. Uh, Lions those have like really good ones, but let me finish the list real quick away team receivers can mistakenly get incorrect hot routes on third and fourth downs Absolutely huge. Like I said, we're gonna have to see what the percentage of that happening is how often it happens But that's definitely another one you guys should highlight right now circle it down and have it ready for day one Madden 22 Giants turf war away team fatigue quicker Jets turf war away team fatigue quicker when you're a shitty team, you're going to get sh shitty uh, abilities, I guess you could say. Excuse my language, but we're coming to the end, boys. Eagles, LinkedIn, momentum gains increase for home team, decrease for away. Another generic one, but I mean, it goes back and forth. Steelers, terribly distracting. This is a good one. Away teams, hot routes have a chance of fading uh, on third and fourth downs. I guess he, I don't even know what happened, but fading away on third and fourth downs, so... You know, you pull up your hot routes and they're going in and out. They're shaking. We saw the video on the screen. I'll try to pull it up at the end. That's another good one. Circle that, like that, whatever you want to do. Uh, put a star on it, screenshot it. That's another good one. It's top five probably for sure. Niners, unstable ground. Away team has increasingly hard time changing directions. Underrated one for sure. One of my most underrated ones in the game. In a game where Madden 22 movement is going to be a key. If you master movement, you'll be good to go. A lot of people have trouble with movement. Boom. You just say, you know what? I don't even want you to go glitchy on me. If you're playing someone like Decroft, someone who has really good stick, you're going to put them on this, and they're going to have a hard time getting rhythm because there's times where, you know, I'm having a tough time on offense, I make a crazy stick play, and boom, I have all the momentum back. Or, you know, some players just feel like that. They, they get a momentum. They play good with that type of stuff, you know, having good stick work and all that. You're playing a runner. Boom, you're going to put them on that field. That's going to be a big one, underrated one. I kind of like this, but I mean, I don't know what makes them unstable ground. At first, when I read it, I'm like, you know what? It's because the Niners and, if you want to look, they, the Washington football team, they have great D-lines. That's what I thought it was going to be for. You know, you're going to get better sheds or something, but um, there it is. You know, hard time changing directions. Like I said, we don't know how good it'll be, but that's what it says. Seahawks, probably the best one. 
Um, similar to the C uh, Steelers, the 12s. Away team has distorted play art on third and fourth downs. So, you know, we saw that clip where the play art is going in and out, in and out. Um, you know, it's just going to be a tough time. I feel like, you know, if you master your offense, you master your plays, you're not freestyling, you'll be good. But like I said, it's still going to be annoying to see that, man. It's going to be a mental thing for sure. Like that, put a star, screenshot that. Buccaneers, I've used this one. Fire the cannons. Home team for recovers fatigue upon entering, entering red zone. It's some mid. I feel like it could have been better. If you're fine, firing a cannon, man, that's one of the best things about the Bucks. There should be a little bit better, um, what's it called, momentum boost. I guess it makes sense because they always fire a cannon when you score a touchdown. Tighten up, probably top three. Tighten up. Home team has improved blocking, avoids holding penalties. You get tight enough. I don't know how you're going to get it. If you get it, once you get it, if you are using the tight ends or you love to tote, this is your stadium you want to be in. You're going to turn on that ag, uh, ag run blocking, ag blocking in general. And if it if it says what it says, you're going to avoid hold, holding penalties. So um, you're going to have improvement blocking. And on that, you're going to get uh, aggressive blocking and you won't get penalties. You're going to be able to tote your life away. Even if you want to pass, this would work. So next year is going to be a shed dominant year if it will be i feel like it might be and then that's what you're going to want to do that's pretty crazy and last but not least i already talked about this unstable ground playing a toter this is going to be awesome so there's that i feel like this is an awesome video some knowledge for you guys to you know get down um let me know what team stadium you're going to cheese your opponent with what team stadium are you going to actually just you know get under your opponent's skin with uh for me like i said my top five probably the 12s um i gotta go unstable ground tighten up uh, let's see. Let me go back to the list real quick. Uh, there was another one I liked a lot. Oh, who that? And then definitely Mile High. So, um, you know, Motor City could be up there, but my top five for sure is Unstable Ground, Tighten Up, either three or four, 12s, three or four, uh, who that? And then last but not least, it is the Mile High Stadium. And, you know, Detroit Lions is an honorable mention, depending how good that really is. It's definitely underrated. Till next time, boys. Hopefully you enjoy this Madden 22 news. Like that like button. Comment what you guys want to see next. And I'll catch you in the next episode, whether it be Madden 21, Madden 22, just something in between. Catch you guys next time. Peace out.